Y'all been waiting for this one. Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm checking out Boundaries. Death is a little more. I've been wanting to check this one out for a while, but I've had requests and other things to get to and life and then Elden Ring DLC dropped, which has been taking up a lot of my time because I can't stop playing that game. It's amazing. Uh, but now I'm finally getting to the slew of albums that came out in the time that I was gone for that one little month and a half-ish span. And the first one I decided to do from this chunk is this one, because I really enjoyed the Burying Brightness album that I checked out, and I would like to hear more, and I heard this is a solid banger. Play. Turn this up, dude. <laughs> why does this wait this this feels a lot like this feels a lot like disrespect to your surroundings it even has a little ting in there that's a song like mr highway's thinking about the end that one. Ooh, the little weird high harmonies there Ooh. Oh. Oh, please keep going with that, please. This world is evil. I am the devil. Oh. Great first track. Great first track. So good. All right. Well, it's got all the boundary staples, unpredictable song structure beating you over the head with a lead pipe kind of sound it's got like constant breakdowns there's so much switch ups in here it's insane the weird like harmonic overtone like there's something going on in the guitar at, at points i pointed it out but like there's things happening in there that's like uh, there's some weirdness or something going on I'm not sure what exactly it is but very very strange let's keep going already the mix is broken we are one second in and it's boom. That tremolo is insane. That goes so hard. Oh, I love their plumes. Can we chill? Can we chill? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Give me a second. I gotta talk about that, bro. Give me a second. Give me a second. So we are here. We're in the key of B minor. Yeah, so it's doing a, a sooner one to four to six chord progression. And then, and then, and then this hits. Wait for it. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Yeah, so it goes. No, 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 There was definitely this in here at some point. It does this weird thing and it like outlines this major chord. I don't know what to do. Like, what do you do when you listen to this? That? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. 
I knew what I was getting myself into because it's it's boundaries. Obviously, this. Uh, but I still feel that their chaotic songwriting is a negative for me. I like songs that are slightly more structured, that have more memorable parts to them, albums that work together and just and flow together. And I think that Burying Brightness flowed well as an album. I think it worked really well as an album. So far, I'm not getting that with this. We're only four tracks in, so we're only a third of the way through the album, so I'm not going to comment on the album as a whole just yet. But that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from just the first few tracks. It just seems like, psh, 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 and then this, and then this, and then this, and then whoa, and then here, and then ha, and then breakdown, and then oh, here's a clean part coming out of nowhere, and then oh, what if we just take away the sound for a bit? Oh, now we're back, and then, and now here's a clean part, and it's just kind of everywhere. And call me crazy, but I feel like Bearing Brightness was a little bit more stru stru structured, <laughs> if, if you can call boundaries structured. Maybe it's just because I've listened to Burying Brightness more, so I know how the album goes and how it flows this this is cool don't get me wrong but there hasn't been anything that i've really been like oh that's something that i'm going to remember that's that's a song i'm going to come back to like anything like that so far overall like this music isn't really my thing much anyway like i'm a very positive optimistic uh not depressed anymore person um and stuff like this i'm just like yeah this is cool but like i want to listen to happy music <laughs> or like like music that sounds happy or like okay sorry no l let me elaborate on that because it's the difference between um music like this and something like uh, another album that breaks the mix that i'm going to bring up and i've brought up before ashen if you take humanity's last breath ashen and you look at that album the themes of that album are very otherworldly and ethereal and like death and destruction and everything is is horrible but it has this otherworldly i can't think of another word to it <laughs> it's almost otherworldly vibe to it where it doesn't feel relatable if that makes sense the lyrics aren't relatable they're just heavy <laughs> and and this is like it's very down to earth it's very real and while i appreciate that in heavy music i like i like stuff that's more ethereal and otherworldly i'm just gonna keep reusing those words i like stuff that's more like humanity's last breath and just like so crazy and insane and wild and when you have lyrics about like just being depressed it's just not my thing really now you put like these lyrics over like a sad guitar song i'm all over it you play like sad acoustic guitar with these kind of lyrics that's my bread and butter but not this music i want this music to be about scary stuff and I know this is scary because it's real, but I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm yapping for too long. Can anybody relate? Can anybody understand what I'm talking about? Like, am I making sense? Or do I just sound pretentious? I don't know. I just realized that, uh, that it says death is little more, not death is a little more. You can delete your comments about me saying this wrong. I don't know what my brain like, told me that it was death is a little more. Death is little more. I see that now. Am I dyslexic and I didn't realize it? Do I have short-term memory loss and dyslexia? Oh, I gotta scroll because Spotify just doesn't want to scroll in this song for some reason. Are we just holding this out? Okay. Cool. They're scaring me, I thought it was gonna... Oh, now it's gonna. Here we go. Oh, okay. Slow right down. Bro does not want to forgive, huh? Right into the next one, dude. Okay, well, the songs have been flowing really well together. A lot of them. Not all of them have flowed, but the ones that have, they flow really well, and it feels like they were written together as like a, like a larger song and then split into three parts or something like that. That's kind of what I'm getting. Because overall, these songs don't have an individuality to them. They're kind of like a collection of different 
like 10 to 15 second sections that then go into the next part and then into the next part and then here's a breakdown and then here's a clean section and then here's another part and it just I, there's not really any repetition that you can latch onto. it just feels like one cohesive jumble which is kind of cool but also not really my thing what else do you want from me The breakdowns go hard though. Entropy? What are you? Silent Planet? Ooh. That's a cool breakdown. Okay, this is Marcus of Invent Animate. I knew his name was Marcus, I don't know what his last name was. So it is Marcus Vic of Invent Animate. Whoa! What is this? Is that Marcus? This is Marcus. Clean Marcus is best Marcus. Man, I wanted more from Marcus. He did not have enough time to shine. He sang like a little line and then sing screamed some high notes and that was it. Oh boy, Matt Honeycut? Bruh. I got some banger features on here. There's Matt. There's Matt. Oh. Oh, I like this part. This is good. Ooh. I like I like this song. This song is good. All right, uh, I I've lost to say about this. I let let's let's talk let's talk musically first. Musically, it's it's cool. I like their chaotic style. I like the the weird switch up kind of wild stuff. Like I said, it's not really my thing, but I think what they're going for is really interesting the parts where there are some cleans it's a little bit forgettable i think marcus's part was the most interesting out of all the clean parts i think burying brightness had a better ebb and flow of things throughout the album than this i think the the ending while kind of weird and not really something that you sit through every single time you listen to the album made for a really memorable outro I don't really think there are many memorable parts of this album on first listen. Overall, musically, though, kind of just middle of the road for me. Thematically, the the themes and like the lyrics and the different meanings of the songs, it does a really good job of being what it is. But like, it's so foreign to like the core of my being that I can't really relate to it much. Uh, but it's it's interesting. I'm sure for people who have experienced things like this and are like going through it in life Really enjoy this for me. I, th I think it's neat that this is being expressed in musical form and it's kind of cool But also it's like not relatable at all for me overall. Just not my thing. I'm very conflicted I don't know where to I don't know where to rank this. I don't even know if I liked it but I think at the end of the day I'm not gonna like it as much as Burying Brightness. As it stands right now, after a first listen, I'm gonna give it not bad. The musical stuff I think is gonna take a bit more for me to think about and get into, so I will let you guys know on my little Cory Cast podcast thing whenever I make the next episode, because I'm gonna have a lot to talk about with that, so stay tuned for that. But I will update you guys on everything since my last episode, which I think is everything that I've done so far this year. So that's like six months worth of music to recap and talk about where my opinions stand on all that stuff now. Anyways, I'll let you guys know what I think of this in the future. But as for right now, yeah, sitting at a sitting at a not bad for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video and support me and all that other stuff. Be sure to like comment subscribe you, you know the drill you guys know the youtube algorithm you know how it works all right thank you catch you later have a good day love y'all peace out bye bye